Throughout the NFL, many players chose their jersey numbers for reasons and stories that you won't believe. With Antonio Brown shining during his time on the field with the Steelers, his jersey number remained a mystery for a long time until recently when he spoke about why he chose 84. Antonio Brown was born in Miami, Florida, where he started playing football before going to New Orleans High School in Miami. When it came time for college, Brown attended Central Michigan playing for three years, all while wearing the number 27. But when Antonio Brown declared for the draft, going into it, he wasn't expecting to be drafted so low. In that year's draft, Antonio fell completely out of the lottery. What's even worse is how he wasn't selected until the sixth round when the Steelers took him with the one 195th pick in 2010. Because of this happening is exactly why Antonio went with the new jersey number of 84. When it came time for Brown to make a decision on what number he wanted to represent for the Steelers, he dug deep and thought about a unique number that meant something to him and only him. When Antonio talked about the decision in an interview, he said, well, my number is 84. 8 times 4 is 32, and 32 teams look past me, even the Steelers. So every time I go out there, it's a little out of motivation. Number 84 is my motivation. When I put that jersey on, I know why I'm rocking it. With Russell Wilson leading the Seahawks to years of playoff winning seasons, as well as two trips to the Super Bowl and a win, there isn't much that we don't know about Russell, except for why he chose his jersey number, which he revealed present day. Russell Wilson grew up in Richmond, Virginia, playing football and baseball, and he attended the collegiate school for his grades as well as sports. For college, Wilson went to NC State before transferring to Wisconsin to finish his college career, and during his time at NC State and Wisconsin, he wore number 16. But after being drafted to the Seahawks with the 75th pick in the third round of the 2012 NFL Draft, he went a different direction. With Wilson finding faith in God and regularly attending church, he decided to change his number in the pros to three, since the number three is a spiritual number. At first, Wilson was drafted to the MLB, and the day after Wilson was drafted to the Colorado Rockies in June 2010, he, his mother, and his grandmother were called to the hospital to see his father, who was on his last breath. The doctor said that his father was unresponsive, but after praying in the hallway, Russell said that he felt the Holy Spirit telling him to go into the hospital room. He went into the room, and he greeted his father for the last time, and Wilson spoke about this saying, I walked in, and I could see the EKG monitor. I said, hey, Dad, I'm here. And as soon as I said that, the line went flat. That's how I knew the Lord is real. I knew my dad heard me and he could hear everything I was telling him about how I got drafted. He was waiting for something great to happen. That's how I knew he went in peace. He's here watching me right now. Russell recently talked about why he made the switch when he said, I chose the number three for my jersey to honor the Holy Trinity. And Wilson's also showed appreciation and dedication to God in the past, especially on social media, and he's constantly giving him the credit for being where he's at in his life. With Ben Roethlisberger being the most winning quarterback in Steelers history, no one will ever be able to wear number seven again for them. But there's actually an interesting story why he chose the number in the first place. Big Ben was born in Lima, Ohio, and he played football ever since he could remember, often idolizing John Elway. Due to Elway, Ben wore the number seven in youth, high school, and even college before making it to the pro level. In college, he wore number seven because him and his father would take regular trips to Mile High Stadium to watch John Elway play. When Big Ben was drafted by the Steelers with the 11th pick in the 2004 NFL Draft, when it came time to selecting his jersey number, he of course stuck with that number seven. And a few years ago, Ben was talking about Elway in an interview when the number seven came up, and he talked about it saying, that's why I wear number seven, because of him. He was a hero of mine growing up. Anytime you get in the record books, it's humbling and it means a lot. When your name is close to his and then you get to pass him, it's just an honor. With Patrick Mahomes making waves in the NFL and recently getting the chance to compete in his first ever Super Bowl just a few years after being drafted, he too came into the league with a number in mind for a specific reason. Mahomes was born in Tyler, Texas, and he began playing football at a young age and eventually committed to Texas Tech, where he was a highly recruited baseball star, but he stuck to football as his main option. At Texas Tech, he won number five, just like he did in high school when he played football and baseball. So when he entered the league, after being drafted by the Chiefs, it was an easy decision. When he talked about the decision to go with number 15 when he joined Kansas City, he said, number 15 still has the five in it a little bit, but at the same time, I was actually 15 my freshman year of basketball. So I just went back to that and wanted to make my own number and do a new thing in this chapter of my life. That's the thing I actually like 15 a lot. It's kind of like I got drafted 10th and I wore number five and there's not really any other quarterbacks that have 15. With Darwin Thompson making an impact on a Super Bowl team less than a year after they drafted him, Darwin's jersey never remained a mystery until now. People wanted to know why he picked number 25. Darwin Thompson was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he played football at a young age for youth teams as well as for his high school team, but he received zero D1 offers from any colleges at first. This didn't discourage him as he went on to be drafted by the Chiefs in the sixth round of the 2019 NFL Draft, and he instantly had to make a difficult decision about his jersey number, because in high school and college, he wore the number five. But someone who played a huge factor in the jersey number that he picked was Jamal Charles, who played nine seasons for the Chiefs between 2008 and 2017, and he leads the franchise in all-time rush yards as well as fourth on the all-time list for rush yards per carry. Jamal was a huge inspiration for Darwin growing up and when Jamal and Darwin bonded at a pre-draft visit, it blossomed into a friendship. Darwin, who had to make a decision on what number he wanted to wear, decided he wanted the number Jamal was great in for so many years. Darwin talked about this saying, I look at my life as God's plan. I came in on a top 30 visit here and I got to meet Jamal Charles. He's actually coming back to talk about his retirement and how he wanted to do the one day retirement thing. So when I wanted the number, I texted him and I just wanted to ask, you just retired. You really the GOAT. I grew up watching you at the University of Texas and now Kansas City. I wanted to know if it was okay I wore it. Darwin even continued saying, he put up damage behind that number. 
So it was a respected thing. He said it was cool. He was glad I got to be in a system with Andy Reid and how much of a better player Andy Reid was going to make me just within his offense. So he was happy for me, really. And it was crazy because I was like, man, I just met you three days ago. Now I'm wearing your number? So it was all love. But now it's just 2-5. I got to make it mine now. Just do what he did and go much beyond that. With Corey Davis playing his college days at the University of Central Michigan, he thought the jersey number that he was assigned was a prank at first. Corey Davis was born in Chicago, Illinois, and started playing football at age four with his brother. And he moved up to varsity when he was a sophomore alongside his brother Titus, who was a senior at the time. His brother went on to play and lead Central Michigan in a lot of categories, which made Corey want to play for them, which he ended up doing when choosing a college became an option. When Corey got to Central Michigan, he was assigned the number 84, which was his brother's number since youth football and was also the number that Corey would wear when he wasn't on his brother's team. Corey even talked about how he thought the jersey number 84 being assigned to him was a prank when he said, honestly, when I got to college, that number they had for me, my brother is two years older than me and he went to Central Michigan. I kind of thought they did it on purpose because he had the same number too. So we just kind of stuck with it and made it ours. And it turns out the people at Central Michigan knew he was a brother of Titus Davis, but nobody on the team admitted to purposely giving Corey his brother's number. Corey Davis was drafted by the Titans with the fifth pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, making him the highest drafted player out of Central Michigan and still to this day rocks the number 84. With Vernon Davis becoming a star tight end with the 49ers in the years after they drafted him, he still wasn't able to wear the number that he started with in college despite playing 14 seasons. Vernon Davis grew up in Washington DC and began playing every position imaginable on his youth and high school team, but by the time he got to Maryland for college, tight end was his role of choice. With college not having the same jersey number rules as the pros, when Vernon got to Maryland, he chose number 18, which was legal for a tight end, and he even spoke about why he chose 18, saying, I wore 18 in Maryland because that's how old I was when I decided to go there. After a very solid college career, Davis entered the NFL, and he was selected with the sixth pick in the first round of the 2006 NFL Draft by the 49ers, and he played there for nine seasons. During Vernon's first transition to the NFL, he learned that he'd no longer be able to rock his regular number 18 due to the NFL's rules and receivers only being able to wear numbers between 40 and 89. Davis did an interview with SB Nation, where he said, I just grabbed number 85 when I was a rookie with the 49ers and stuck with it. After nine successful seasons with the 49ers, Davis was traded to the Broncos, and once again, the jersey situation came up when someone named Virgil Green already had the number 85 on lock, which forced Davis to switch to number 80. And after only one year playing in Denver before signing to a one-year deal with his hometown Washington Redskins, Vernon had the opportunity to go back to 85, which he did, and he said, when I came to Washington, I decided to just go back to it because I've always worn it. With Baker Mayfield making waves in college due to some controversy, but also due to his Heisman winning season where he carried the Sooners to win in the Rose Bowl, he was assigned a number that he never changed. Baker Mayfield was born in Austin, Texas, and he played high school football with his brother while wearing the number 11, which was his favorite number as a kid. Baker went on to play at Texas Tech, but he transferred to Oklahoma to finish his college career, and after a successful final season, he decided to enter the NFL Draft, where he was picked first overall by the Browns in the 2018 NFL Draft. Baker recently talked about his jersey number and how he got it when he said, fun fact, I never picked it actually. I walked on to Texas Tech and they gave it to me, and then when I was transferred, they thought that was my number, so they gave it to me. When asked if he was going to change it or go back to the 11 that he wore in high school, he said, I don't think Cleveland fans would be very happy. I think I'll keep it. When Baker got to Cleveland, he chose the number six like he's had for years, and oddly enough, Baker became the sixth player in franchise history to wear it. With Lamar Jackson joining the NFL, instantly making waves as a starting quarterback for the Ravens, the story behind why he chose the number eight is as unbelievable as his play. Lamar Jackson was born in Pompano Beach, Florida, and he began playing football right before high school, where he would always rock the number seven. When Lamar went to Louisville, he decided to change the number eight, but he never spoke about why until present day. After a crazy college career, Lamar was drafted with the 32nd pick in the 2018 NFL Draft by the Ravens, and once again, he had to make a decision about what to wear. Lamar decided to stick with the number eight, and in the summer of 2019, the Baltimore Orioles had Lamar throw the first pitch and customize a special jersey with the number eight and Jackson on the back. Cal Ripken wore the number eight during his legendary career with the Orioles, and when he was asked about the best athlete in Baltimore wearing number eight, Eight, Lamar said he feels honored. Lamar tweeted the picture from standing outside Camden Yards in front of the statue of Cal Ripken. And he said, Mr. Cal, I'd like to thank you for letting me borrow your number tonight. Please know that I'm working and striving to be the next great eight in Baltimore. And Cal Ripken spoke about Lamar taking over the number eight legacy in Baltimore when he said, it's his time, though he is number eight. He's the number eight in Baltimore now. I was always excited to watch the Ravens, but I mean, you're particularly excited seeing some of the things he does. You think you're gonna see something you haven't seen before. He's making people miss him and fall down with some of his moves. Another contributing factor into why Lamar Jackson wears the number eight is due to one of his favorite athletes and basketball players who wore number eight during his time growing up watching him. Kobe remains an inspiration to many young athletes, but not many of those young athletes grow up and get a piece of signed memorabilia from an idol. In early 2018, Lamar posted a picture on his Instagram of a signed Kobe Bryant jersey that Kobe sent him, and the caption said, at Kobe Bryant, I feel like a little kid with the goat emoji next to it. Now with the recent tragedy surrounding Kobe Bryant passing away in a devastating helicopter crash, not just athletes, but the entire world was affected by such a thing happening to a legendary player. Lamar recently talked about the breaking news and issued his respects toward those involved, especially his idol of Kobe. Jackson said, you know that's a legend, man. Everybody in our locker room was hurt. He did so much for the game of basketball. A lot of people look up to Kobe Bryant, including myself. 
You know, he's a great player. From what I heard, he's a great person as well. So my heart and prayers are with his family. That's one of the GOATs. Him, MJ, and LeBron, the top three. You know I ain't seen nobody else. Hey, yo, dog. What are you doing with your life right now, bro? You need to click on this video on the screen. Seriously, this video right here might be the greatest video ever uploaded onto YouTube. That's right. I'm saying it right now. It's, it's, it's undisputed. It's amazing. Okay, it's pretty good. Just, just click on it, please.